blue is here again. So let's move to something more interesting. And why these smooth groups is cool and in the future. So this is very, very low poly car. It's been made to be modeled to be under 10,000 triangles. So when you triangle it, it says 9,158. So it's 9.2k triangles. So it's very low poly. And yet it has wheels, headlights, taillights. Doesn't have interior in this case, but yeah, with interior it's not over 15k. And as you can see, it looks ha, low poly. <laughs> and there is no smoothing angle which you could do to make this okay. It, this seems like fine here, but then it's not fine on the rims, not fine on the windows, doors, knobs, all kind of problems. There is no surface smoothing which could make this model look good or render good. So, as I said before, forget about this. 1953, blah blah blah, default, smoothing off. So, let's start with something easier, like tire. I have solo one tire just for this demonstration. So, I know how it needs to look because I have a photos of real car, but let me show you some of uh, thing, things how to do it. So, in this case, let's set the tire to smooth group 1 and then we need to isolate the rim expand selection and then that should be number 2 see now we have clear visible line between uh, rim and the tire and now we need to make a spokes see this and then this should be smooth. These parts, like number three. See, that's impossible to do without models, unless you plan to cut and paste geometry, which is not really a solution and makes tons of other problems. So that's not really. Uh, should be done. This is the proper way. So now number three. So now let's do something for the spokes. And then uh, select all these. Shift to multi select. Okay, now let's say number four. So now that looks already good. But I want to have this as one smooth piece. Let's try that. See? Looks cool. And then here. Yeah, with the spokes is kind of tricky because with this low poly stuff there is often triangles. So you can't really do much of a loop selection. So it's kind of repeating a lot of same selection and smoothing that's why I isolated one spoke just so I see I should do this area so also to smooth out that so you can have all this still selected and then uh, hit once now it's unset group and now it's set See, now all the sides of the spokes are smooth and these can be something else like 7 or so and we have a very very cool rim and the tire but in this case this should be a different set because that's basically part of the rim but from this side yeah, you don't see that it's not loaded that's how you set polygons in the game stuff and in this case, the tire had to have a 30 segments, so the tires are a very big part of the <laughs> polygons on the model. 
and this could also be a different group. But actually, let's leave it in this because it's a tutorial anyway. So now, instead of doing this for all four tiles, what I do is just uh, first check multi shift selecting with the shift key and then invert. See, I missed one. That's why this invert is very, very good. And that should be number four. So switch to set number four. Now that's number four also. So now there shouldn't be any unset groups. So invert selected zero. So now it's all fine. Previously, obviously, I missed one polygon, which is not good. And now, what to do is like copy and paste. Now I have two models in the same place, and now I use my transition tool from the light web and pick this. Oops, so I didn't pick the proper edge or polygon. Sometimes it's hard to pick. Let's do it this way, move it here, move it like there. Oops, that's this side. Just to snap it properly later on. And then when you have it in position like this, and then you pick some vertices on this, and then on the second layer, vertex and uh, it's not to see. Okay, that took quite a while, but usually not that bad. So then you mirror it, and now you have four tires, see, but all four has the smoothing groups and you don't need to do it four times. So you can delete this layer and just use this one. But let's move to the body of this car and that's the key thing how this really really helps. So let's try this and this and the lines to be one better. And then Oops, like this, so two, and then go here, go here, it can be again one. Oh, can because see, in this case, the touching welding here, so the smoothing is interrupted. And for this guy, so set this to three, and then this can be four. And now it's fine. And then let's do the wheel arch like this, so like a loop, something like that. And let's say eight. And then do this part. I'll do just one half of the card so you can see uh, the difference. This was an eight. So this is always cool. If you have draw IDs, you can always check which was your last one because I want this to be smooth. So and yeah, now see we have smooth transition from here to here. And now I select this. That's gonna be our next one. Like seven. Okay, that's cool. And then this area is like nine. See how this creates great effect and, and completely looks like not so poly as it seems, as it is basically. Well, let's say 12 and then let's try to here just to see what happens. Okay, I have triangle shapes for disappearing of the let's say 20 and then 
to this area or to and then oops, well, it's not gonna work in this case because this needs to be like five and then select range this is gonna be like 14 as I said before the number doesn't matter if you want to be smooth or sharp just be sure to not have nearby groups in the same number if you want it sharp. So 32 this let's move up to here. Let's check here also. That could be one group, yes. In this area. This should be oops, this one. This one. Another group. And then let's try these areas. Of the wheel arch like up to there that's cool and then this car has a particular line here this one it's more like this way so it goes up to complete door section like there to this line and then this this ball should be smooth. Here it goes to the back of this rear bumper. Let's keep it up to there. So this should be one small group. So I missed a few points. Actually, just one big. And then uh, here. And this area and this pointy triangle. So this hole is just smooth. And then let's say we want it to have a smooth glass and then roof. And this is the interesting part when you go to small lines like that. So you have a crease which you need to visibly show. You know this like let's say six and then this crease has the seven. And see it's all goes smooth and then disappears smoothly with the point edge sharp and then uh, this uh, rear spoiler should be something like 18 and then this needs to be sharp and then all this is smooth like one group and you can see how it's progressing the left side is completely different and smoother in this case also I would just mirror the that side when I'm done with this but for now I'm just working so you can see the difference between smooth and non-smooth uh, areas so like this here pick all these This usually you can do while modeling, so you can see how many polygons you need in some areas. In my case, we didn't have this before, so I first modeled, and then maybe you realize I could uh, do something different. Maybe I could weld these okay. to say uh, one more, not, not that much, see. because this is the door. Uh, work area, door mat, door metal. So if I will this, it wouldn't work because then the glass is too big. Glass is just this part. So, but yeah, I saved two more polish and I have to put 
for the junk geometry, delete that. But let's say these are now possible to smooth and then let's have a glass or windows smooth. And then these door frames goes up to here. This one also. And so on and so on and basically that's how you get the smooth groups to have a car which looks much better than it is. And let me show you final smooth group version. See, see how it looks. And if you check one which is not really smooth yet, so let's unassign all this. So this is the version what you have this to be modeled and now it looks like this so let's check this see how smooth and cool it looks it has a lot of edges sharp edges uh, smooth surfaces see this bonnet line you see it visibility see this side marker here it's kind of all looks so poor that you can't really believe that that's gonna work. But yeah, it works. See. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you understand how is this important and good feature. And thank, thanks for New Tech Devs to make this possible in Lightweb. So yeah, Lightweb is now much more game friendly. And thanks you for listening and watching these videos.